From Wall Street to Main Street, this is LA Late. It's a big evening of evenings at LA Late, and guess who's back? <laughs> yeah, so with your voice, you'll check update of 2020 2021. Oh, and we've bought an audio. So. Uh, maybe the audio will clear up. Uh, in this recording, we go over <laughs> everything about bad audio, uh, including your force must check update in 2021. We're going to go over the incredible set of changes that are coming to that recon and uh, the audio that's going to clear up shortly after that. You know, you can't have everything perfect. But then we'll be turning to the programs that pay about $15,000 of checks across the board. Those incredible checks detailed in tonight's recording. Then we have a lot of breaking news about a new vote set for Chuck Schumer in the next few days. And by then, the audio will be fixed. $25,000 of checks are available for you for third stimulus and under third stimulus, but fourth stimulus, still paying about $15,000 and more. Those incredible details in tonight's recording. We're going to go over this critical vote that is happening in just a few days and what you need to know about that student loan debt forgiveness as offered across the board. We'll be getting to do that. The incredible details of that total raise coming up in January. Those details and more. But, you know, as we always say in the business, <laughs> someone said last night, uh, your audio is hurting my ears. I'm getting a headache. If you had a headache, here's some Tylenol. Here's some extra straight Tylenol. Take it and take it. We are carrying Tylenol in the morning. Uh, it's a big bowl, beautiful. <laughs> I'm back with you. The audio is going to clear it up. You know, um, I'm not so much your pain in your ear. Uh, but other than that, I'm excited for you. I'm excited for the incredible great news. I'm excited for the breaking news about Trump. With the major vote, it's all detailed in tonight's recording. We have it alive. This is all breaking news because you know you ain't going to see it or hear it anywhere else. Except right here, right now, as evenings I like. It's like a lot. We still have a little bit of bad audio, but hopefully it'll clear up. In tonight's recording, we have so much going off. Oh, wait, there it went. It cleared up. In tonight's recording, we have so much going on with those incredible checks across the third stimulus that are still paying out across the board. I have all that in this recording, but we're going to go back to into fourth stimulus. The Build Back Better Act will get watered down, will get increased. What will be the provisions in there? And why is this vote in just a few days from now from Chuck Schumer that has new details tonight? We did not even have them last night. So critical across the board. We'll be turning to that student loan debt for getting us the latest details on that. Plus that COLA raise. Um, there's new economic data that came out minutes ago about the Labor Department. We have the data about a new inflationary concerns announced minutes ago. And also we have Jay Powell's comments ahead of the Federal Reserve that was released yesterday. Plus, I have all the details of what Joe Manchin is looking at across the board in this new push for voters' rights uh senate rule changes and more there's a lot going on in tonight's recording i'm excited you're here those details and more and i'm excited you're with me with a special live edition my first live broadcast since my absence for over three weeks during hospitalization we are back on air so with that go under this video and be part of this incredible family right now and hit that subscribe button i want you part of this incredible family to hit that subscribe button because i don't want you to miss a single video or a single recording across the the board. The tonight we go right into evening's countdown right after this, which was actually taped yesterday. So that was my first taped recording, one of three yesterday, coming back on air for the first time in nearly three weeks since hospitalization. Um, tonight, you're watching right now, if you're in the live chat, of the first live stream of this channel since uh, since then. So if you are, if you are a pain, <laughs> if you are just a really, uh, a, just a pain and a mess, I have sick Crayola and, and Dragon on you. So they are ready to crack the whip if anyone is in the live chat and simply wants to go to that level. In tonight's recording, we have so much incredible great news. I want to get all to it. There's a lot happening. We may you and me you missed last night's recording i want to go over all the details it's a little bit different because there is so much that's happened in the last few weeks 
uh, during my absence and I want to get you caught up on all the incredible details tonight. All right, here we go. The Force Stimulus Recon, aka the Build Back Better Act BBB, or the Force Stimulus Package, is in the Senate. It was passed in the House several weeks ago. It was never really modified yet in the Senate. Bernie Sanders has changes he wants to put in there. He didn't get his changes done yet. Liz Warren has changes she wants to put in there. She hasn't gotten her changes in there in year yet. Ron Wyan wants to put changes in there. He hasn't gotten his changes in there yet. So what is the status of the Build Back Better Act? It's basically in holding mode. Last night, I sort of equated to being in the Monaco Grand Prix with a tow truck and the tow hitch. They pulled over to the side of the road. Uh, they're having croissants. They're looking at the, the harbor in, in Monaco saying, you know what? Um, we're not we're not sinking. <laughs> We're not on a yacht partying, but we're also not over the finish line. So we're in a holding mode. Now, why is this new details released tonight, and I have it on camera, it just happened really just minutes ago, so important for the recon? You first saw a tidbit of it last night. And the tidbit of it was Chuck Schumer trying to get a vote on January 17th for something called a Senate rules change. Now, this is not a vote on the recon. It is a vote on something that is related to the recon. And what is that issue here? The way in which a series of Democrats in the Senate pass things when they do not have enough of a majority is at the discretion of very long-standing rules of the Senate. Those Senate rules predate many of us uh, of our generation. Some of them date to back to Robert Byrd, who's a senator, the Burr Bath, and he was a senator from West Virginia. They want to make changes, and there was even a letter in the 2017 where they really didn't want to make changes, but in view of how the Republicans have had handled the January 6, 2021 uh, investigation in recent weeks, these Democrats now say, we need to make changes. And when we talk about those changes, these are changes to allow things like your force civil recon to get passed easier. Now you may say, but they just have to call the vote, right? There's why would it be make it easier? Because it would solidify the speed in which it can get done. And the test is first to modify these rules. Now you may say, is this sort of a new ringer? No, it's just a way to make things easier. And they've been working on this for over a year. And they, the opponents to modifying Senate rules were including Sinema and Joe Manchin. First opposing a dramatic called a nuclear change of the rules and then, mod and then opposing just any slight modification. Well, you saw it last night on Evening's LA, which is tonight will air right after this broadcast and Evening's Countdown, that a lot of people were very friendly and close to these two people, including Joe Manchin, had been working on them for several months, now upwards of a year, to get them to pull back on their resilience to changing Senate rules, and it has now worked. And Joe Manchin admits it has now worked. They are, Senator John Tester, Democrat from Montana, Tim Kaine, Democrat from Virginia, Angus Kane, Independent from Maine, even Oprah Winfrey, even Barack Obama, and even Bill Clinton, and even Robert Byrd, yeah, the bird bath guy. <laughs> he loves the bath. Uh, he does has, has his own shampoo line. <laughs> no, he does not. Uh, that's just an expression that they created after his absence, after his he was no longer so. So what's at issue is that Chuck Schumer seeks, seeks a vote by January 17th, which is just a few days away, uh, on doing Senate rule changes. Schumer's trying to play a heavy hand to get Manchin and Sinema to allow simple majority for certain things to pass, like election reform. And election reform would go first, not because it's more important than the recon, but it's sort of a test as to how to get things done easier. This is a big one. And they think it's going to happen. So that was last night, tonight, brand new. It happened um, in just the last hour. Is that Chuck Schumer will be bringing the election of voting legislation to the Senate floor in the next few days. And guess what? Nancy. <laughs> Nancy's helping. Yeah, she's helping. Temple of Paradise, not Temple of Doom. Nancy is going to be calling a vote in the House. Um, maybe, let's see, tomorrow or the day after. That will include federal election reforms and beefing up voting rights provisions so that she can send it to the Senate. What is she doing? She's basically 
a giving Schumer um, sort of like a quarterback sneak. She's basically saying, hey, I want to help you, Chuck. So let me pass in the house. I don't have to pass in the house, but let me pass in the house. Send over the Senate to say, let's get it going. She's trying to get this Senate rules changes going by sending something to the Senate from the House, even though she doesn't have to, to help it get it going. The Senate, um, Schumer wrote in a memo minute, minutes ago, obtained by LA tonight, that the Senate will finally debate voting rights legislation, and then every senator will be faced with a choice of whether or not to pass the legislation to protect our democracy, says Schumer in a memo released tonight. Now, um, this is big for your recall. It's very big for your recall because this would tee up the ability to get the recon done sooner and easier. Let's go back into that incredible recon and let's go over the incredible provisions of the recon. Three costers, three add-ons. Now, um, on IG Live, which stands, of course, for Instagram Live, earlier today I made a recording. It is still up there because, as you know, it's a story. It is a story, and they stay there for one day. That's how Instagram stories watch. If you have Instagram, go on there and watch it. It was a live, and I think it's now archived. But if you don't have Instagram, I'm going to tell you right what it is right now. There's a lot of tough love in this video. There's a lot of heartfelt emotions in this video uh, you're watching right now. And there is a lot of guidance, strength, and courage in tonight's video. And it's a little bit different. First, uh, what I said in that Instagram video that I want to make very clear right today is that the Four Stimulus Recon has lots of provisions. You know it. Three clusters. You know it. Three add-ons. You know it. And you know the history of this channel. So VIDL and PPP, and you saw some of the throwback videos um, uh, in, in announcing my return, you know, on Hermosa Beach and in, in, in this in the lockdown of March 2020. I've done a lot of financial subjects. I have never been a this channel has never been a one program financial instrument channel. It has never been just EIDL. It's never been PPP. It has never just been um, rent or utilities. And along the way, I have felt in recent weeks, and I've expressed it, I think, before on camera, but I saw it a little bit more uh, in the days of my absence and in the days that I came back on camera the last few days, that people wanted to make me or this channel to be only one program and one subject matter. MSA. Message to you. Ain't happening. <laughs> Ain't happening. I am not here to make one subject and only one subject. Not to say it is less important or more important, but for some people who want to only hear about one subject matter and only one subject matter, I'm not here for you. This is a financial news channel, and this is a financial news channel that covers a lot of subjects. And number three in the United States, I intend to be number one. I intend to bring you along and make you a lot of money. I intend to increase your financial depend, your financial strength, your financial livelihood. I intend to make you money. I intend to make you stronger financially and, and independent. And if you don't want to be on that ride and only want to hear about one instrument that is basically in a mindset of, here's my hand, put it in my hand. I don't want to do anything else. I'm not along for the ride for you with that. Uh, in my absence, I saw some messages where, even last night, I heard, I got a message for a long time, wonderful viewer, I love him to die, uh, on Instagram. He said, my, uh, I heard in, in the last few weeks that we may not be getting MSCs. And I said, <laughs> my response to him in, in, in the private message was, are you watching other channels? He said, no, uh, I had an argument with my brother's roommate. <laughs> Excuse me? Yeah, I had an argument with my brother's roommate. I said, okay, great. Well, I'm not in the room. <laughs> Everything I kept that. Why do you expect me to do? Uh, well, just sort of give me stuff to tell the person. And I'm like, no, I, I'm not here to have your argument with that person. Uh, that is your discussion with that person. But more importantly, um, the, the the whole sort of, am I getting it? Am I not getting it? Am I getting it? Am I not getting it? You know, you know that I'm here with, uh, in a three week absence. I'm bringing on camera tonight. You know, forty five pages of notes. Of stuff, some of the stuff that's happened the last few hours, and because there's a lot of equations at issue here, and the, the mindset of that person was off. The mindset was, "Am I getting a check? And when am I getting the check? And how's it landing?" I'm not here for that. I've never been here for that. That's donut guy. And some people want to be on that path, no matter how many times I say it. And you know what? I'm moving on. 
Not moving on and not, does not mean I'm not going to cover MSC. Does not mean I'm going to stop advocating for MSC. But I'm not going to be allowing anyone to make this channel a one subject matter channel. Uh, it has never been that way, and it won't be that way. And if you want to be on that path, you could be on that path. Uh, similar notion, and I covered it last night on on uh, last night's show, and I want to cover it again tonight. There was another place out there. I don't want to give this person any uh, attention, but there was another place out there where the person was trying to tell people that there was a two thousand dollar check that was coming on Christmas Day, and a two thousand dollar check that was coming on Chris uh, New Year's Day, and there'll, there'll be a two thousand dollar check on Martin Luther King Day, and a two thousand dollar check on Easter. That, of course, the, the, that's the that's how the video starts, and there's no there is no two thousand dollar check, and people are sending me messages. Where's my check, Alec? I haven't gotten my Christmas Day two thousand dollar check, uh, and they're contacting the volunteers. The volunteers are not there to track your check, folks. <laughs> it's sort of like mystery check. Did you know there's that's behind the plant? There's a mystery check, and unless you know the special password, you don't get that mystery check. That's what is going on in my three reactions. There's a mystery check out there, reaching out to to the volunteers, and the volunteers send me messages. Hey, I like was there a check that went out that we did not hear about it? I'm like, uh, it would have been all over the news, folks, if there was a check that went out. And again, this is tracking check mentality. So message, very clear, is I have a lot of money to get you. I have a lot of money to make you look financially independent. I have a lot of shows coming on this channel that are going to make you more money, more financially independent, stronger as a retiree, stronger as a single parent, stronger as a small business owner, smaller as a mom raising a daughter uh, and just wants to, you know, um, pull in an extra few hundred dollars a week. That is my focus on you. This is a financial news channel that is making you better and making you stronger financially day in, day out. That is my focus. And telling, asking me what day something's lying in your bank on your mailbox, not here for it. So let's move on. All right, let's go into this incredible recon. Let's start tonight with where we left off last night, which was this big issue of the Build Back Better Act, BBB, for stimulus recon to social spending bill. There's just so many names. <laughs> I mean, by tomorrow, there'll be 20 more names. Let's go over where its path will be heading and what are the issues at hand. First, we need to understand is that all the checks that were in the recon are still in there. Second, we need to know that everything that was covered in this channel in recent weeks before my absence is still in there, and that everything that was vowed to be added in there is still not been taken care of because they never got to that point. Meaning that it's not as though it's done and they didn't take put it in there. It means that they just never got to it yet because they're in this sort of holding mode. They're on the side of the road, Monaco Grand Prix sort of pulled over, and they haven't added everything they want to add in there. So that means that the whole, uh, the whole process of making modifications, not done yet. So far, about $15,000 of checks. Yes, so far about $15,000 of checks, but those senators never made their modifications to add stuff in there, never made their modifications to remove provisions in there. First cluster checks, a lot of them, hazard pay in there. For one more year, the earned income tax credit for my essential workers. Then $4,000 of elder care, $4,000 of care for young children. They got the CTC check in there, $3,600 for, um, for young children, approximately for one more year. Now, if you do not realize, yes, the CTC has now expired from third stimulus. Um, anything that you had watched, gotten, was aware of, under third stimulus, with the exception of the rent and the utilities, which are covered in the latest video, are now expired. So, um, retro, no. Don't bet on anything retro. So, let's say if your CTC expired and you got your last check, are you going to pick up a retro check when they reinstitute on fourth stimulus? I don't think so. This is the first cluster. Also, that first cluster is home repairs if you live in a low-income community. Incredible sums of money. And it's incredible that I'm just doing this off of memory, not doing off of notes, live on air. So I'm sort of proud of myself. And I didn't even watch 
old videos to remind myself of the details. I actually have the notes on set, and I'm not looking at them just yet. Um, I'm just trying to do it off of pure memory at the moment. Uh, you know, when you're in hospital for three weeks, you sort of you sort of forget to check audio, and you forget it, how much is the thirty six hundred dollars? It's the CTC. That's what it is. All right, the second add on of checks across the board are incredible, and those were added in there by Maxine Waters. Twenty five thousand dollars for home for first time home purchases for individuals who want to buy their first home, single uh, single family residence. What is first time? How does it work? I think Ryan asked Crayla a question about that last night. Lynn Glenn is very interested about this. We don't know any more details about it any more than before. So these, this is in there from the house and can still get modified from the Senate. All right, let's go to the second cluster of checks. This is home repairs. This is what weatherizing your home where I put in that the horrible jokes there. <laughs> you know, the Joe Mansion, if he pulls up in the driveway, the winterizing, the, the Mitch McConnell, you know, lobster decorations. Yeah. And then paid leave. Um, that is still in there, surprisingly. Um, and yeah, yeah, you know that that is a big battleground for Joe Manchin. It's a lot of money. $1,700, you make $70,000 or more per year. If you make $35,000 or more per year, then it's $800 a year, $800 a week. Um, go lower, $15,000 a year, it'd be $400 a week. How many weeks per year? Up to four weeks per year. So this is a lot of a money. It's a lot of money. It really is. Um, and it is up to four weeks per year. Uh, and Joe Manchin was opposed to it. I don't think he's going to keep that opposition to it. It is just so, it, it doesn't resonate in his character to be opposed to it. Um, I'm going to be going over more about him and that that organization I covered last night, the Chamber of Commerce in just a second, $250 billion. This is from Bob Casey. The home health care for seniors and people on disabilities, um, that you know is very important. And I have a lot of viewers that this is very important for. Uh, they got it in there on the House side. Let's go to that third cluster checks. This is where I may have to pull out my notes. Uh, well, uh, <laughs> I'm going to remember a few of them. Oh, wait, I do have the notes here on this one. So this one is the one where I usually flip through notes because this is a lot. Okay, here we go. Going off of notes on this one. Free school meals for all checks. Um, cheaper prescription medication. Immigration reform. That's out. Remember, the Senate parliamentarian removed it. Farmers checks. The uh, free internet. Great news on that. That's nationwide. Um, the clean energy, of course, removed early uh, later on. The workers checks. And the Medicare expansion, which... Um, is the seniors' money. Now, when we talk about that, that is what we're talking about with the Bernie issue. You know, Bernie has still not gotten his items in there, and his items are uh, hearing, excuse me, vision and dental. They got hearing in there, but they haven't gotten Bernie's items in there. And that is why when we talk about the provisions that need to be added on the Senate, they haven't got to them yet. So don't think they got everything done and they're leaving out your items across the board. Next, let's, of course, go to that third add-on, and that third add-on is that MSC. MSC, which stands for IRS, Stimulus Check. That is a provision that those senators have vowed they would add it to this incredible recon. And when we talk about this, what are they talking about? Well, they have indicated that they wanted to do it for uh, $2,000 the first month, $1,000 thereafter for up to six months and that they vowed to add it on the Senate side. When we talk about advocacy, you absolutely should advocate. And when we talk about advocacy, let's go over something about that just right now. Now, understand it's different when there's no vote set. And when, we're, when we have a vote set, let's say there was a vote set you know, for two days for now, for example, then we would want to really hammer the telephones at that point because the vote is just looming. At the moment, there's no vote looming. So what I said last night is much the case tonight is you want to just keep them in the loop, make a phone call maybe once a week and just say, we need it. I need it. Your story may be a little bit different than it was a month ago. And who do you advocate to, Casey? Coons, Warren. Wyden, Sanders, and Schumer advocate for why you want this incredible money in this recon to be added in there. Pick up the phone and speak to their staff. Casey, Coons, Warren, Wyden, Sanders, and Schumer. Tell them why you want to do why you want it in there. Now remember, the recon is not finished on the Senate side. They don't have a finished bill yet. Um, they don't have a, a, a finished format. They haven't added their items yet. So there ain't going to be an answer of whether it's in or in it there. So if you're one of those people that simply wants to be tracking a check, which we, which I've already 
which I've already gone after you on that earlier in this video, you ain't going to get an answer for that because this is a bill that's parked on the side of the road at the moment. It's not the it's not over the finish line. So if you so don't call up and say, is there a check in there? Because that's a sort of crazy question because we don't have a bill that's in finished format on the Senate floor. We don't have a bill that, oh, by the way, is it going to go to a Senate subcommittee? Don't really know yet. Um, you know, we're out of the House and we're in the Senate. Are we going to the Senate subcommittee? Are we Senate subcommittee? Are we modifying it? How about Voterama? That's, you know, down down the, the, the food chain. So we have some steps to happen. And reality check. Retro? No. Um, they're going to give you past due checks? No. Um, they Are they going to increase or decrease based upon any factors at issue? Uh, these are Democrats, remember? They aren't Republicans. So they are not going to be playing this, you know, inflation, that inflation, this game with you. It is whether they want to do it or not. Now, let's turn to something very critical, which I detailed last night on this channel. I want to go over right now as well. This is very important across the board. There's one organization that is now the protagonist of this channel. <laughs> and I, I'm laughing. Why? Because I love this. I love this. They're the villain. They're the villain. We're the heroes. What a better time to come on back on camera. What a better time to come back after a three-week hospitalization. What's a better time to be reunited with the family. What's a better time to have strength and courage and, and, and solidification when a group of organization that is a paid lobbyist are doing something solely, so totally insane that we can all agree upon. Oh, they're no good. They're no good. Who are these people? And more importantly, they haven't met us. They haven't met the Purple Power. Who do they think they're playing games with? All right, let's go over who they are. If you missed last night's recording, if you did not, if you missed it, it's coming up right after the show as well. It's 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 tonight's evening's countdown. The organization issue is called the, uh, and I want to say carefully because it sounds like something else, the U.S. Chamber of Commerce. I'm going to say it again. U.S. Chamber of Commerce. It is not the U.S. Department of Commerce. That's a government agency. The, her, the, its head I feature on this channel. It is not the U.S. Department of Commerce. It's the U.S. Chamber of Commerce. What It sounds like a very official form organization. Is it part of the U.S. government? It is not. Is it a lobbyist group? It is. Uh, it is like no different than Purple Power. So what's at issue? They wanted the infrastructure passed. They got it passed. Now they want to kill the recon, aka the Build Back Better Act, aka BBB, the social spending, the force recon, everything about it. They want to kill it. Why? Who are these people? What's going on here? What? What? Why? Okay, this is a lobbying lobbyist group. You can go on Google, search them up. Um, they're in D.C. <laughs> Call them up and give them a piece of your mind. Uh, what is their what is their approach? What are they doing? First, they are buying ad space in West Virginia and Arizona to run ad campaigns. What do the ad campaigns say? We love you, Kristen Sinema. We love you, Joe Manchin, for killing the recon. Uh, excuse me? <laughs> Uh, they didn't kill the recon, did they? No, they didn't kill the recon. So why are they running those ad campaigns? It's sort of a fake narrative. It's basically thanking someone for something they didn't do, and they're not going to be doing it. Uh, okay, I got that. Sort of strange. Where are they running these ad campaigns? <laughs> First, uh, on billboards, uh, digital billboards in those states. Second, on YouTube. <clears throat> uh, yeah, I, I think I need it. I think I need some time all right now. <laughs> <laughs> Maybe you need to give them some help. Uh, what, 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 do they have a YouTube channel? They do have a YouTube channel. How many views does a YouTube channel have? Um, remember when I used to go on air and I used to put the chapstick on, on Instagram before I went on air? That got more views than their YouTube channel. <laughs> Me rubbing, what is this? Oh, this is Pink Lemonade. <laughs> this is Pink Lemonade. I also have a set tonight, um, Graham Cracker. Graham, Graham Cracker. Uh, very different. They're they're both excellent, by the way. <laughs> if I did this right now, not to be narcissistic or anything, but um, okay, that's more views than they're going to get on their channel. <laughs> mm. 
<laughs> that's really shady. Um, but that's just, okay. Here, I just got more views than your stupid ad campaign about the free <laughs> What What are these ad campaigns for? So you go to the YouTube channel, they have three videos. One is like 20 views, the other one is 60 views. I'm not joking. I'm not a joke. They don't even have a thousand views. What? Why do they want to kill the recon? So they're, they're messaging. Uh, it, it, some of this stuff is just, you know, it, 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 you're saying you're like, am I really, does this, this it sounds sort of altered universe, you know, second, like a, a, not even metaverse, it sounds like, you know, metaverse inverted. <laughs> what are they saying? They're saying the Force Summers Recon needs to die because it is bad for American businesses um, for two reasons. One, it will increase corporate tax rate and second, it will cause inflation. Okay, so let's address both of those situations. Uh, wrong <laughs> and wrong. Number one, um, the Force Stimulus Recon, BBB. Originally, Joe Biden said, I want to do 30%. You remember this from February. I had the I had the graphic. It's still in the, I can still pull it up right now, but I don't want to mess up and kill the power and knock out the audio. And then you'll say, I have a headache again. <laughs> so that, that was initially, Joe Biden wanted to do 30%, which I said, it's not going to happen. It was just, it was crazy. Now, remember Trump reduced the corporate tax rate lower. I don't remember. I think it went down to 18 or 20. I, I can't keep remember these numbers. Um, Joe Manchin, said Trump reduced it too much. So Joe Manchin said it's too low currently because of Trump. Uh, and Joe Manchin wanted higher, but he didn't want as high as Joe Biden. Sound like we're drawing straws here. It sounds like it's like little, little nuances. It is little nuances. So I can't even remember the numbers, but I think Joe Biden wanted 30%. It's currently in the teens or 21%. Uh, and Joe Manchin wanted 22%. Bottom line is that where and and the and Joe Biden says I'll do I'll do it where Joe Manchin wants to do it. Bottom line is it's like two darn percent. <laughs> this organization is running billboard campaigns because complaining about two percent change of the of, a, of the tax rate. Oh, <sighs> <laughs> my message last night on tonight on air is that if you have a business and you can't sustain a 2% change of the tax rate, you need to get out of business. I mean, that's like, come off already. 2% change of the tax rate, uh, you know, you need to get out of business. Second, um, they also say that'll cause inflation. It will not cause inflation. Inflation is currently, oh, new data tonight. Um, uh, wow, uh, just that's a perfect segue into new data tonight. The, I think it's a CPI, let me flip to my notes, came in just a few minutes ago, 7%. Boy, um, told you so. Remember last year, here we go, Consumer Price Index came in just a few minutes ago. A few minutes ago. This is for December 2021. Remember, it takes some, it, the, the data is released uh, the next month over. Came in at 7% um, compared to year to date, highest raise since 1982, but consistent with estimates. Uh, food and energy CPI was up 5.5%, biggest growth since 1991. Uh, inflation grows as highest price point in 40 years, the Department of Labor said. Um, economists were looking at 7%, so it came in at where they thought it was. Um, Brian Price, head of investment management at Commonwealth Financial, says, The December CPI report of today of 7% over a year to what, 12 months will be shocking for some investors as we haven't seen a number that high. However, this price was largely anticipated by many as we can see the reaction of the bond market as long interest rates are declining so far this so far today. So, shocker to us? No. Uh, you've been with me since a while, earlier this year, when we talked about... Uh, this stimulus and tying your benefits to inflation, I was always talking about what's the inflation rate going to be. And at the time, we talked about Jay Powell, head of the Federal Reserve, saying we were going to have a transitory, fancy word at the time, which meant temporary spike. And he had a graphic, and I always did this hand gesture up and then back down. And they were saying, he, Jay Powell was saying 2%, 3%. I said, no. Jeremy Siegel, the professor of Wharton School of Business, I was accepted there. I declined. <laughs> uh, but it's a, wonderful, it's a wonderful school. No, don't, don't be shade about it. Um, and uh, the, he had said, um, Jeremy Siegel had said, like, 
10% or 20%. I thought that was too high. I was originally much higher, and then I brought my number down to five because I, I think I was at eight. I think I was at 8% originally, um, and I thought I was too high. I thought I looked sort of foolish. Uh, inflationary peer pressure. <laughs> <laughs> the broadcaster feels inflationary peer pressure. You're too high with your number. Come down. That's what I felt. I felt like I, my number was too high. I think I was at 8%. And I brought it down to 5%. And I think I brought it back down maybe in like in August. I kept it at 5% for a few months. And then by about October, we realized I was not too high. We realized every that j -Pal had undervalued it. It was not going to be 2 3%. So here we go. 7% inflation. Now, so let's go back to this organization. Let's go back to the recon. Let's go back to how this inflation kicks in or doesn't kick in. Here's what you need to know tonight, and this is a little bit confusing, is that the recon is not going to cause inflation. Number two, the inflation that is happening right now is a series of compound events that predate Omicron. Number three, we now have Omicron as its own inflationary event, and it's a very, very bad inflationary event. Touched on it last night. Let me explain to you what's going on. Because of Omicron, so many people are getting infected so quickly in such a short duration with 1.5 million new cases yesterday in one day largest in the United States in one day, 1.5 million cases. When I was in the hospital, it was 500,000. The next day it was a million. Yesterday it was 1.5 million. That means they do not have people to do things, to work. There's no one to show up to work. Uh, <laughs> there's no one to trim the petunia, to trim the poinsettia. So there's no one to show up to work. And because of that, they now have the supermarket chain saying, we can't get the food on the shelves because we don't have workers. When I was in the hospital, um, the transport, the people that bring the, bring the gurneys from room to room, 50% out. Uh, in the clinics, the, the, the doctors and the staffers, 20% out. These are doctors. These are staffers. Uh, people are, are calling in sick with COVID. The lines for COVID testing around the, claw, around the corner like it's a Star Wars movie. Um, this is causing price inflation. So... Is the four stimulus recon the big issue of inflation? No. Omicron is the biggest issue for inflation. It is really going to be its own inflationary event on top of everything else that we had as a cause of inflation before Omicron. And Omicron is not going to be going away, you know, at least for a month. So we could have this inflationary event, you know, caused by just Omicron continuing to the march. Does this help the recon? It does not help hurt the recon. I think it helps the recon or is a non-factor. Um, now, there was um, the number one, this is the number three financial news channel in America. The number one financial news channel in America has in this morning show, if you've ever watched it, I'm not going to say who it is, but we also know who it is. They have three hosts. One host is a very, very staunch Republican. The other one, the protagonist, is a Democrat, and the other one is sort of in the middle of the row. And the Republican host uh, this yesterday said, you know what, why is it that we have two different, we have Democrats and Republicans looking at the same data, and they have different opinions. Um, well, sometimes things make sense, and sometimes things don't make sense. And in the case of... You don't have people coming to work because they have Omicron. That's pretty obvious. And then if you don't have come people coming to work, then you don't have stuff on the shelves. That's pretty obvious. I mean, there's no way to spin that. Um, and if there's nothing on the shelves, then some people, then that business may charge more money uh, because they have to charge, they have to pay for more for labor because there's a labor shortage. That's pretty obvious. Why would the data be any different? Because some people just don't have a, they have a political slant, so they want to change the data to mean something other than that. Very, very basic. That is where we are on that issue tonight. So takeaway is the inflation is going to get worse because of Omicron. 7% inflationary number tonight. This is brand new. This is why I'm live. There's a lot going on with whether you're just joining me in the live chat right now. Chuck Schumer calling this vote on January 17th to make Senate rule changes. And the Senate rule changes will be critical because it will help tee up a lot of stuff. The first test would be the voting rights of legislation. And the second one would be the recon right behind that. 
Um, and then we have these inflationary concerns across the board um, that are predating Omicron and now Omicron causing its own inflationary event. And it does not hurt the recon, it may help the recon. Uh, with that, um, so much more to cover in the second half of this video. Here's a little bit about the community page. I'll be back with you in 60 seconds as we continue more of the recon and then turn back to third stimulus and also student loan debt forgiveness and business. If you want money right now, not five days from now and not five weeks from now, then reach out to the community page. The volunteers can help you find that money for rent and utilities. That's at news.la.com forward slash community. The community page features a series of volunteers who are viewers like you. They can help you find rent, utilities, SNAP, food benefits, mortgage assistance, and help you with eviction moratorium questions as well. Their Facebook, Twitter, and Instagram individuals reach out to them and indicate the city and state you're from, and they'll get back to you shortly. That's a community page. Volunteers working for you, viewers helping one another. Stay with LA for more. Join LA Late Daily for the excitement of the new LA Late Live Daily. The excitement starts on mornings LA Late at 9 a.m. Home LA Late returns at 11 a.m. daily. And then afternoons LA Late at 1 p.m. Join us daily as the excitement continues live from Santa Monica on LA Late. And the excitement continues in the second half with perfect audio. <laughs> See, I remembered to check the audio. Well, tonight. Hey, can you imagine? In the second half, we're going to go with that student loan debt forgiveness with great audio. I remember to check it. Uh, we'll be turning them to the color rays. I want to go into the live chat with you as well because I see some great comments coming across the board. I'm so excited to be back with you. Fifth st third stimulus, we're going to turn over to us the big money available still from third stimulus. And then we'll be turning back into this recon. There's a lot of data coming in tonight. You've seen it already. If you're joining live in the chat, uh, I'll try to give you a recap because there is so much happening tonight. It's a big, bold, beautiful evening. I'm excited you're here. And with that, make sure you're part of this incredible family. Go under this video right now and subscribe. I want you part of this incredible family. Hit that subscribe button right now. Like the video and consider becoming a member across the board. So many details and so much to know across what's going on tonight. It's a big, bold, beautiful evening. And those Senate changes are among the many I am going to be going over. But first, I want to jump into the live chat with you. Uh, it's a big night. Someone said, did someone sit, did someone sit on his hat? <laughs> Those details are more. As a big evening's ally live from Santa Monica tonight continues. And how are you? Let's jump into the live chat. And uh, let's see some of the hysterical comments that are coming on in. Uh, how is everyone? Uh, hey, ally, how are you? There's Bob Bacon with my bacon. How are you? But there was a lot of comments about the hat. Someone said, well, he sat on his hat, his hat's crooked. So I appreciate that. I will check on that. I don't know what happened, uh, but uh, there we are. There's John Thompson. How are you? There's Shawnee. Um, there is um, there is Shirley Parker. How are you? There's Anne. Uh, hey, there's Nancy. There's Miriam McHenry. And uh, there is Oliver. Says, um, uh, advocate, advocate, and pounce. There you go. Um, thank you for those incredible comments. Uh, here is Diane N. And there is um, Paula Earhart. How are you? Um, uh, what happened to two checks in December? I didn't get any of them. There were no two checks in December. So that was sort of what we were laughing about before was that, you know, uh, people had put you on this check tracking mode. And that's what we don't do here. Um, uh, did Eli say why he was hospitalized? I did not. Um, and I decided I'm not going to be saying why I was hospitalized for Shawnee. So I did not have COVID. Um, but, um, uh, I decided I would not talk about why I was hospitalized because I, I think that ultimately the determination was if I did, then it would become like a never ending story. And it's not sort of the purpose of this channel. Um, 
and it, it could trigger it could trigger just sort of an, an antagonism uh, 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 back and forth that I didn't want to really endure. For example, in the morning's countdown show this morning, someone in the live chat, uh, live chat, it was not a live show, but the live chat, someone said, L8 suffered an injury and was embarrassed to say his injury. Uh, and I watched that comment and I just sort of blew up reading it. Now imagine if I was live on air and I saw that. So I really just don't want to go there. Um, I did not suffer an injury, nor was I embarrassed to reveal the injury. Um, but no, so I, I have decided I will not be covering why I was hospitalized, but it was not COVID. And um, I've got some wonderful comments from viewers in recent days about my position on COVID and what I, what I can say is that all I can say at the moment is that people in Los Angeles who are triple vaccinated and are health professionals are getting Omicron. So please be careful. Uh, let's see who else is in the live chat. There's Crayola. Uh, there's Tanya. I love tacos. Let's make some tacos. I love that. Uh, there's Christine Bonell. How are you? There's Yaya. Hey, what's going on? There's SB. There's Shirley Parker. There's Paula. And there's Mike Goli uh, Mike. How are you, Mike? Good to see you. Uh, there's Dodd Austin and Ginger Manston. Maston, how are you? There is Palmyra and Scott and Crystal and Nancy and Imogene. And Sandy and Vicky V and Paula and Crayola. There's Crayola King. I guess I guess Crayola King when I left was Crayola Sushi King. <laughs> I guess he's back to just Crayola King. I guess there's less sushi now. <laughs> yeah, it's January. So I guess December was sushi and this now we're just back to Crayola King. Uh, uh, yeah, yeah, I I I will bite some. <laughs> there's Sue Sue Brady with some bacon. I appreciate that. Um, uh, and there's John Thompson, there's Anne. So I personally want to thank, I've said it before, but I again, want to thank Anne Dreamweaver, Yaya and Janet, who were absolutely incredible. As soon as I became hospitalized, some people were trying to come after viewers, come after the channel. And those four people, uh, were incredible. Anne Dreamweaver, Yaya and Janet. And they pounced like you have never seen people pounced. Uh, one person, uh, even just less than 24 hours ago, was going after all of you and me. That person's now gone. That person was thrown off Twitter, banned from Twitter. So I want to thank um, the wonderfulness of Anne Dreamweaver, Yaya, and Janet, and everyone else that may have helped that always does help also as well, like Dreamweaver and Dragon always help on a daily basis. I did not have access to Facebook when hospitalized, so I couldn't get to Dragon and, and Crayola, and they know that. Um, but I did have access to those uh, four people, and, and they were absolutely incredible. Uh, who else is in the live chat? There's Rob and there's Tanya. Uh, and, and Tanya says, how can I pay my gas and electric bill, L.A.? Uh, we're going to get to that in just a few seconds. Absolutely. We're going to get to third stimulus in just a second. And there's 700 people in the room. Wow. Um, there's Vicky V. Um, and there's Shirley and Miriam. And there's Donna and John uh, Crayola Shushi 2024. <laughs> there's, new, there's new recommendations for what Crayola's middle ship name should be. It's not sushi anymore. Uh, and there's Diane and, and Carolyn and Jose Geronimo. How are you? Lisa Perez and um, SP and Christine. All right, let's go back into the recon. Uh, and let's turn back into... Uh, this, let's go about first the four symbols, then we're going to go third, and then we're going to go fifth. Build back Bagarak. Will it be... Um, a new body of legislation will be watered down, will be modified. I believe this is just opinion. I have no particular facts to support it. I do have some analysis, some analysis statements from some legislators, which I'm relying upon and voicing my opinion. But I believe they're going to stay with the recon, the body of legislation passed from the House, and modify it. I don't think they're going to throw it away and start over. Uh, I don't think they are going to butcher it and I don't think they're going to create something new. I think they're just going to use what they got and modify it. And that's, remember, they never added the stuff they wanted to add in there because they never got to that point. So I don't want you to think that things are missing because they never got to the, the modification mode. All right, let's go into third stimulus and, uh, and the excitement about third stimulus. And this sounds just so strange that in January 2022, 
I can still be talking to you about money that was passed as part of a body of a legislation in January 2021. And I can't because there is so much of it. And last night, I gave you a little bit of new insight of why 2022 is uh, really good news for you when we talk about third stimulus. Because we're in a new year, and in the case of the nonprofits, this means additional rounds of funding. It also means an additional round from government funding for you as well. So let's go over all those details as we look at third stimulus right now which initially, when passed uh, in January 2021, paid viewers on average about $45,000. Some viewers got money last summer. Then, during the Christmas weeks, we call it Christmas stimulus, and viewers got another $15,000 around the Christmas time. Well, now that we're in a new year, you can get more sums of this money. And what are we talking about? We're talking about rent, utilities, food, internet, mortgage assistance, and more. One viewer is in the live chat. She's asking about her utility bills in Los Angeles. Yeah, you can get that. Um, someone sent me a DM, I think it was on Instagram yesterday, uh, for her new success story. If you've had any success stories in the last few weeks, send it to me. Uh, if I if you send it and I haven't said hello, send it again because I may have missed it. Please send it again. I'll feature it on air. We're going to go over all those incredible sums of money starting right now. We're going to start with the rent, utilities, and mortgage assistance. And then we're going to go over why the analysis of this is a little bit different because it's now January 2022. First, the rent. It's a lot. It was This is the graphic in October of last year. It is now up to $40,000. Where do you get it from? Six places. City Hall, City House Authority. County Hall, County House Authority. State Hall, State House Authority. The keywords are going to say are rent assistance because of COVID. Rent or mortgage or utility assistance because of COVID. Those are the key words you say. There are three musts you must do. First, you must get multiple applications on file. Uh, second, you must apply for the sums of money across the board. So you want to get multiple rounds. And multiple rounds, I'm going to go over that in a second, what that means. And finally, you want to reach out to all the different places. Where are the six places? City Hall, City House Authority. County Hall, County House Authority, State Hall, and State House Authority. And again, the keywords are going to say are rent assistance because of COVID, mortgage or utility assistance because of COVID. Now, uh, I'm going to go over those rounds in just a second. I have a big new message that is brand new now that we're in January about that. But let's first turn to utilities before I get to that. Utility assistance. Um, Mark's brother got 15000 Mark, if you're watching, send me a DM because I want to know the latest update on, on your numbers. Mark's brother-in-law got $15,000 for utilities. You can do the same thing for utilities, the viewer in the live chat for Los Angeles. So you, she's in LA, uh, so I'm talking to her. Here's an example. You're going to reach out to city, county, state. Six places, city, county, state, hall, and housing authority. So six different places. I had this example in the thick of the pandemic in 2020. Viewer in San Bernardino County, he got the money from San Bernardino County Housing Authority. I never knew such an organization existed. It did, and he got a lot of money. So it wasn't at the city level, it wasn't at the state level, it wasn't at the county level, but it was at the San Bernardino County Housing Authority. Yeah, that's how different these things are. Next, now, we know the one, the legacy of this channel will leave behind incredible magnitude is the people have gotten SNAP. You get from the Department of Agriculture, reach out to them and get it. It went up 25% lifetime starting the month of October. And uh, you want to get that incredible money for SNAP. Contact Department of Agriculture. Mark Sola Brother-in-law is getting $25,000 a, a year, which is over 10 years, a quarter of a million dollars. Next, you want to get combo items. Nisi and Art Sullivan started. They got three items. Now they are at, uh, and now they're inspiring an entire generation. Here was Mark at the time, 32000 He had two items. I said, Mark was your third. He got a third, brought himself to 50000 Then he went over to 100000 I haven't checked in with Mark since about October, so I'd be interested to see where Mark is right now. So if you're watching Mark, send me a DM. Lorraine, she was at 105. Neil, she's at 120. We then turn to the incredible story of Johnny, and Johnny is truly an embody the spirit of this channel, and he embodies really where we are going to the new year. And this is where we're talking about with these rounds. All right, let's go over these rounds. What's so different with January? This is brand new when we're talking about third stimulus tonight, unless you watched last night's show. When we talk about these rounds, now that we're in January, there's a couple things that are new. First, if you got money before, get money again now. 
and get it as far forward as possible. So let's say you got from one organization, reach out to that organization again, try to get as far in future as possible. Try to get to March of this year or April or May. And they say, no, we have no money. Then rely, rely on the nonprofits. They're in the, in the, in the, in the, in the membership newsletter that goes out tonight. It's about 7 o'clock. Uh, ooh. Well, maybe it'll go out a little bit later tonight because uh, I'm on air at 6, six o'clock right now. Um, the Oh, at 6 o'clock. So the, <laughs> the evening's countdown is probably going to air in just a second because uh, I'm running long, long on time. Uh, the rely on the nonprofits because here's the new equation. Now that we're in January, the nonprofits are often leaf plenished with additional funds from benefactors when a new year rolls around. So they may have... They generally work on a calendar year. And every nonprofit's different, but they often work on a calendar year. And those replenishing of funds start around now. So um, rely on them. Uh, Johnny's incredible story shows us that he started on a week with zero dollars, but by the end of the week, he had three programs approved, 45000 By the end of the week, he got seven programs approved, $80,000. What's important about Johnny's story is that he heard the recordings where I said, keep on getting as many programs as possible as you can. And he did. And those programs resulted, were the result of at least 15 phone calls. You'll have about a 50% um, success rate in the phone calls and about 50% rejection rate. Don't worry about rejection rate because you're going to get some no's. You're also going to get some yeses. Uh, next, Johnny had people coming over to his home and saying, hey, what have you been doing? And he helped 32 people get $850,000. Um, and that is a true embodiment of the Purple Power Spirit. Last night on air, um, I had a tough love moment. I want to repeat it back to you as well. In 2020, when I launched the volunteers on the community page, there were some people who said, I don't use Twitter. I don't use social media. I don't. Can someone just give me a phone number to call? And can you, can you do it for me? And... Uh, the tough love moment I gave on air last night that I want to give again tonight is for you as well, is that if you're on disability, if you're a senior, if you are elderly, if you live alone, um, you'd be surprised how much you can do. This is a sta statement of encouragement. This is a statement of motivation. You have, and you you can do a lot more than perhaps other people have told you. And uh, I have learned uh, during my absence that there's some people who want to tell you you can't do things. And if you think you can do it, then you can do it. Um, you may not know where Twitter is or how to open a Twitter account. But you certainly, <laughs> I laugh every time I use this example, which I came up with last night. You certainly recognize that kid on the front porch that's keep on doing those TikTok videos next door every day, annoying the hell out of you. <laughs> hey, stop dancing. I'm trying to watch, you know, my soap. Stop dancing on the front porch. You know that kid's making a TikTok video. And you don't know what TikTok is, but he's making a video with his camera, his phone. Well, tell the kid to stop doing that and help you get a Twitter account <laughs> so that you can talk to the volunteers. The, I know you know how to do things a little bit better than uh, you're putting yourself out to. I think you can do it. I know you can pick up the phone and find the utility company and get that get that money. Uh, I know you know how to pick up the phone and call the gas company or the water department. I think you know how to do that. And once you do one, then you're like, wow, I did that. And you can't do it. Uh, and with that, we're, we're almost running at an hour. Coming up next is Eating's Countdown. And then tonight um, will be a stream stimulus holiday edition, which needs a new title. I know it needs, needs a new title because it's not a holiday edition. Uh, that is coming up at 7 o'clock. Then at 8 o'clock is our very popular show called Evenings Extra. So right after this, this video will take you right into Evenings uh, Countdown, then at holiday stream stimulus. And uh, one hour after that, and then at 8 o'clock, evenings extra. And then we're back tomorrow morning with a whole slate program. As to when I'm on camera, as to when things are new, as to what is new, um, first, look for these plants. <laughs> so if you see these plants, you know these are new videos. Um, that is the first indicator that these that they are new videos. Just watch for these two plants, or three plants. I think it's, well, it's actually four, because there's two colors of plants. Um, second. Which one, when will I be new? When Which one will be old? Uh, I'm trying to get in a groove. Um, not so much my body, but, you know, appointments. 
uh, follow-ups. I'm trying, and th as as they become a little bit more normalized, I can do, I can know my schedule. So um, it, it is sort of problematic when, which hour, which show, um, but you will certainly tell, you'll be able to see it. And then as we sort of progress, then it'll become more normalized and you'll see it back onto a, a more regular schedule. Uh, and I appreciate all your incredible love because trust me, I personally did not think I was going to be alive for a while uh, because it, it takes a whole effort. You, you have never really seen the studio because I don't really show the studio, although even though you can see a little bit of reflection actually right now, I don't show the studio. And it's, it is a very elaborate studio. I built it out. It is high tech. Um, it is production quality, and if you <laughs> if you don't know where the where the click where the button is to run the opening credit theme song, then you don't know where you are. Uh, and I didn't know if I can go on live because I didn't want to mess up live. But you've been very very kind. There's Anna live chat. There's Hurricane Tina. Hey Hurricane Tina, how are you? There's Sandy. Uh, there, there's Crayola again. There's Margaret. Oh, uh, Margaret. She says the point says are beautiful. Aren't they beautiful? And they they have lasted. I mean, isn't that incredible? These are from October. I'm whispering. They're from October. They look really good. <laughs> so it's just it's incredible. Uh, there's Shawnee. Uh, how are you? There's Connie Curry Chicken. Beautiful. There's Sue Brady. Uh, and um, <laughs> there's Barbara. There's Dorothy. Uh, and there is um, Shirley Parker. There's Anne, Diana. Um, uh, who else did I miss? Um, there is Madonna. How are you, Madonna? Uh, and there's Marcy's vids, and there is a sh there's Barbara B as well. With that, thank you for joining me. Coming up next is Evening's Countdown, which was taped yesterday. It was, I think, the first of three videos taped since back on air. Um, the Overnight's Crypto Show, I know the audio is a little bit off, so give me some slack. I know. Uh, I, I don't think I'll be able to record a new one for tonight. Um, and then uh, and then after Evening's Countdown, we have Holiday Street and Stimulus, and then... Uh, at nine or eight o'clock is evenings extra. Stay informed and stay focused. Have a beautiful evening. Uh, keep on advocating for all your incredible money. And thank you for all your incredible love during my absence. And thank you for reuniting tonight in the live chat with, uh, a thou with about a thousand people and almost 9,000 views in the last few minutes. Uh, stay informed, stay focused. Have a beautiful night and stay with LA for more.